Hi Libra, welcome to your September How They Feel Next Move in Love Messages Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, we're looking at this person, no matter your situation, circumstance, or what's going on, whether it's a separation or it's someone new you're dating or it's a crush or whatever. Uh, we're going to see how this person's truly uh, feeling about the situation. We'll kind of see what's going on, how they're feeling about the situation, how they're feeling about you, what their next moves may be, what they want to tell you, along with love messages. All right. Okay, well, I guess that's your card. All right, Libra. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, male or female, general collective rating. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip it, switch it if it makes sense to cross watchers as well. It can be a reading for you. And uh, welcome in Libra. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Now do keep in mind, uh, this is something you're not interested in or whatever. It's probably just not your reading. You could just leave it for somebody else. It's totally fine. You know, it may not be for everybody every time. But, you know, hopefully it will be. All right, Libra. Let's see. Authentic truth. So we have four, which is stability foundation. I'm going to get all these out and see if I can get a feel for, like, what's going on. Nothing has gone wrong. Hmm. And we have seven, which is divinely guided spiritual energies, though it seems frustrating or nothing's happening when the universe is trying to help us or work it out for us. And we have grounding, which is six. So you got four, six, seven. Hmm. Grounding. Okay, let's see. And we have soul writing, 20, which is two, which is partnerships and unities, choices, decisions. So, very interesting energy here because I'm getting a lot of mixed energy here. Like, I feel like maybe someone has done something, but they're acting like nothing, they did nothing wrong or nothing has gone wrong. Or somebody's acting like everything is fine. Oh, there's no problems when there might be. So somebody may be avoiding a problem or a situation here. Um, somebody spoke their truth, that is for sure. But we do have this grounding in this soul writing. Now the soul writing basically is about um, putting things into motion and like writing kind of like not literally writing but it's like putting your soul into action and putting your soul like living your life how it's meant to be so it's like writing your destiny writing your uh, karma writing your purpose your passion what you're meant to do, what you're meant to be. It's like putting it into action. So it's writing your soul's destiny, if that makes sense. And grounding here is definitely, you know, you know, grounding, s stability, growth, expansion. We do have the tree there, which always room for growth and expansion, but it's also about planting those seeds. The roots run deep, maybe even past lives together, being more stable and grounded and secure. Hmm, it, it's almost like there's still a lot of things that need to be worked out in the connection and there may be that energy of like well i don't i don't know if it's going to work or not but you know it's, it's fine everything's going to be fine everything's going to be fine everything's going to work out you know we're going to be stable and grounded you know we're meant to be and it's just going to work itself out we're going to be together when you know, maybe someone spoke the truth and said, you know, I don't know if it's going to work. So it could be that there could be cultural differences. I mean, we do have the yin and yang there for balance. So it could be maybe there's something here where it's about a culture thing um, or other factors that play here. Very interesting, Libra. All right, let's so, hmm, let's get into the tarot and see what's going on. All right, let's see. Could it be an issue too where maybe... I mean, not that it's a big issue, but maybe it's something about same sex. Maybe others don't approve. Maybe it's something you work together and you're not supposed to be together. I mean, there could be something here where somebody feels like there's no problem, there's no issue, everything's going to be fine when there could be a little bit of an, of an issue, but let's see. All right, Libra. Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there, a list of readings I do here, my backup channel. I'm not currently uploading over there, but if you want to sub... If you can't find me here, you'll find me there. Just thank you for everybody for all your support, your kind words, your sub 
you know, subscriptions does mean a lot to me, and I do thank you. All right, Libra. Let's see. Let's see how they're feeling about how the situ uh, situation resonates for you. Seven of Cups. So there's some sort of confusion, illusion, a lot of energy surrounding this, I feel. King of Pentacles. So this person is feeling like, you know, everything's going to solidify. There's the grounding of the King of Pentacles. Everything's going to solidify. We're going to be fine. You know, everything's just going to be like perfect. Like they have that in their head. But there's some sort of factors around this. Seven of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. King of Wands in reverse. Uh, some, you know, like I said, some it could be same sex, male, female, it don't matter. Um, seven of Swords is some sort of energy. I don't feel like it's either one of you. I feel like there's some other kind of energy surrounding this. Seven of Swords, I mean, that can be not a great energy. It could be lies, deceit, sabotage, stealing, someone trying to ruin something. So there's a lot of Seven of Cups. It's just a lot of energy because you see like the Seven of Cups filled with all different things. So there's a lot of factors, energies, situations going on, I feel. So you, you know, you both may know there are these things going on and you're not sure how this relationship is going to work, how it's going to move forward. So you're probably wondering, you know, well, what are they thinking about this? You know, what are they truly thinking about this? You know, um... They're feeling like here, you know, King of Wands in reverse, though. Um, even though there's some sort, I mean, I'm feeling like this King of Wands is some other kind of energy. Male or female, it don't matter. So, which could be a negative energy, which, you know, because it's in reverse. So, so I mean, this could be a nasty family member. This could be a nasty boss. It could be um, a friend, nasty friend or something like that. Maybe someone trying to control the situation. But in their head, they're like, you know what? If things are going to move forward. We're going to move forward. We're going to be fine. We're going to be in this relationship. We're going to be committed. We're going to be whatever here. Even though all this other energy, it's like a freaking tornado surrounding your connection. But they're like, nope, we're going to be fine. It's going to move forward. Wheel of Fortune. Everything's going to be fine. Nothing's wrong. You know, we're going to be stable, grounded, committed to each other. We're going to get married anyway. We're going to do whatever and everything's going to be fine when there is some things uh, here that are not great. So let's see. We do have um, Virgo, Sag, Leo, Chris, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. Let's see. King of Swords in reverse. Again, there's a lot of factors at play here. A lot of different energies. And we do have an Emperor too and the Tower. Now, this emperor attached to this king of swords in reverse this like i said could be a boss a parental figure maybe an older friend or somebody who the king of swords is very negative not a great energy causes a lot of havoc i felt that tower energy when i was feeling like a tornado i was feeling also like this tower card a lot of disturbance surrounding this connection whatever that means seven of pentacles so there's been a lot of Maybe delaying, waiting, uh, postponing, whatever the case may be. Came of Cups in reverse. It's like somebody here feels like they're not sure that their love can withstand all of this. I don't think they want you to walk away. They may be fearing that you may walk away feeling like, you know, even though we do love each other and we want long-term energy here at Ten of Pentacles, I'm not sure that our love can withstand all this other energy is it strong enough i mean we do have the empress here which is a match to the emperor saying and then the chariot which is positive movement forward you may have to like get away move away to be together or, like away from whatever this chaos is so you can be together that may be uh that may be one of the options here but let's see um so that's kind of how like they're feeling. They're feeling like, yeah, we're just going to be together and we're going to move forward and everything's going to be fine. And they're just kind of like ignoring all this other energy. They don't want to face it. They don't want to, they don't want to face the fact that this, this is an issue or these things are issues, whatever that means. You may be asking like, do they get this? Do they get like, there's all these things surrounding this that this may not work. 
I mean, there's a lot more to be written in your soul connection here, that is for sure. But let's see. Let's see how they're feeling about you. So, death here. Hmm. The star and the Ace of Wands reversed. So the star is, so they're feeling like, you know, your divinely guided energy is something meant to be. You know, faith, hope, optimism, or stream come true. Balance, healing. So, you know, they definitely want to heal, but the Ace of Wands, they're afraid of uh, losing the passion and the chemistry and the attraction. Definitely with the death card, they're fearing that you may pull back and say, you know, it's just not going to work. And they're, they star, they're just, again, remaining hopeful. Attached to the King of Pentacles, they're just remaining hopeful. Page of Cups, so they do love you. They, they do want to, you know, offer their heart to you. Very sincere energy here. And here's the Queen of Wands. So we've got the King and the Queen of Wands. Two people who are not, who are a match, but they're one's reverse one upright, where they're not having the same outlook of what's affecting this connection and all the other things going on. One is just like, oh yeah, it's going to be fine. And the other one's like, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have the King, Queen of Wands right, right here, but one's reverse one's upright. So we do have Aries, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio. Wow, okay. Eight of Wands. So, I mean, I'm I'm not sure if you're... You could be communicating. Maybe right now it's just a lot of, like, text. And you're not spending a lot of time together. So there, there's a lot of wondering here with the Four of Cups. You know, sometimes text can be taken out of context or taken the wrong way. Ace of Swords. So definitely needs to be deeper conversations here. So they're feeling like they need to have deeper conversations with you, especially if all you're doing right now is like texting or whatever. Eight of Swords. So they don't, they're not, they're not going to let this energy hold them back, the world. So again, that could be about moving, traveling. You know, maybe you guys have been thinking for Swords here about like totally moving away from everything to be together. I mean, that could be where the grounded comes in because we do have the world energy here too. Interesting. So the, whatever energies are at play here could be keeping you a little bit uh, from each other for whatever reason. That could be happening as well. All right, so let's see. Um, yeah, so they definitely want to offer you their heart, and they definitely are sincere that they want, you know, they want you to have their heart forever, but a lot of chemistry attraction here, like we said, but... All right, so let's see what their next move is going to be here. What is their next move here? I'm just feeling like they just want to come whisk you away, take you away, and get away from everything, and just be together some like somewhere else in the world or the state, country, whatever. Here, six of cups reversed. If they if they feel like if they have to leave their past behind them. Like their family, their friends, they're willing to do that with the Six of Cups reversed. Same. Nine of Cups, they just want wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. The Hierophant, this could be about commitment, marriage. It may take you away to elope. Um, a deeper commitment here. Could, religion could be a factor, spirituality. Four of Swords, I've been thinking a lot about this. The sun, they just want happiness, joy, growth, expansion, enlightenment, healing, love, peace, harmony. It's everything positive here with the sun. Wow. I feel like this person, they, I think they, they're seriously thinking about if they have, whatever they have to leave behind them and leave behind them, family, friends, their work, career, whatever, if it means being with you, then that's where, that's what they're going to do here. So we have Taurus and Leo, three of pentacles. So it could be something about work, but this is growth, expansion, four of cups. So not sure how you're going to take this, but they could be sending you a text, a phone call, a message. So right now, if you're just texting whatever, that, okay, let's just be together for once here. Let's just be together no matter what, even if we have to go away. So right now, strength and reverse, there's a lot of things that are weakening this connection and they're not happy about that. Again, Queen of Cups, a lot of love here. 
for our pentacles it's like we we need to uh, take action we need to do what we need to do here wow all right so let's see what else about their next move for you libra what else their next move towards libra oh my goodness there this one wanted to come out here ten of cups again total happiness joy fulfillment in every single way nine of swords in reverse they're not going to let fear hold them fear is not holding them back they're not stressing about this they're like just do it six of pentacles in reverse they know there's too many unfair situations right now affecting this in the moon so i mean that can be about fear of the path ahead and i think um the 14th is the new moon in virgo so it could be something around the new moon. So these will be going out on the 13th. So let's get one more here. It could be something at nighttime. Like just getting away at nighttime and not looking back. Six of Swords. Oh my God. That's like traveling, moving distance. Moving, like moving. Away. I feel like this person is just going to come maybe at your home. Maybe send you a text first and say, you know, I got plans or these are my plans let's just do it and like getting away at night or when no one is watching or no one you know sees or whatever <laughs> like that <laughs> and um just getting away six of swords right here getting away and there's the two moon energies right here so we have pisces energy here right what else two of cups there's such a strong, strong bond between the two of you. It's like they don't want anything to disrupt this. Again, Ten of Pentacles, long-term energy. See, there's more in your connection that needs to be written. Like the, your story's not done. Nine of Wands. You know, it's been a struggle. They're tired of it. And it's been weakening the connection, strength and reverse, where they just want... That could be the home, like coming to your home. They just want that deep commitment. Coming to your home... And, you know, two of cups, you know, and then just whisking you away. Oh, my gosh. You know, and you may say, oh, my, I can't do that because, you know, I can't leave my job and do this, do that. I mean, all right. So, I mean, whatever that means, I mean, it could be just moving, you know, not that far away, but far enough away where you're away from chaos. Or maybe they just want to take you away for like a week, a weekend just to talk things through and make plans. Maybe the two of you coming together and confronting this energy as two is stronger than one as well. So let's see what they want to tell you. Let's see what they want to tell you. What else they want to tell you? Five of Cups. I don't like the sadness, loss, and separation. Knight of Pentacles has been happening for way too long. The lovers, yeah, we're meant to be together. I want to be with you. I made the choice, decision, we're soulmates. The devil in reverse. We need to leave all this negativity, all this chaos behind us. Eight of swords that we need to get out from this energy that's keeping us stuck and away from or apart from each other. Wow. So let's see. We have um, Gemini right here. This is for Libra. I just did Gemini. Anyway, with that, yeah, we have Gemini, uh, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Four of Wands. Yeah, it could be coming to your home. Commitment, marriage, Empress. You're the Empress or whatever, vice versa. Birthing of new energy here. Knight of Wands. So they're really thinking about their next moves here with the Knight of Wands. Page of Swords. A lot of communication. Again, they could be sending you a message or something. And the Two of Wands about choosing a new path together. Moving, make, again, chariot, positive movement forward, traveling, moving, distance, choosing a new path together. And taking lead and charge here with the Emperor. Look, we got the emperor and the empress just saying. A lot of communication, page of wands. So I see releasing of burdens here with the ten of wands too. So something's going to be released here. So I think plans are going to be made. Coming together, two are stronger than one. Confronting these energies head on. Maybe possibly like getting away and creating a whole new life somewhere else. That's kind of what I feel here. However that resonates for you. So let's see. Uh, we do have Capricorn, Gemini, Taurus... Um, but we have a lot with this, um, uh, moon here. So there could be something, um, let's see, that's 15, which should be six, six. 
It's not really giving me a time frame, but I'm feeling something around the uh, new moon, which is in like a day from when you see this, but all right. It could be within eight days of the new moon, which would be like going into like the 21st or the 23rd. Something definitely by the end of the month. All right. Eight days, maybe. Okay. All right. Libra. So let's see their love messages to you. Their love messages to Libra. Physical touch is important. So you may have not have been physically together for a very, very long time. We have 4711, Life Path, Soul Path, Energy, and ones are about new beginnings. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. They really miss being in your arms. They really miss that physical touch between you and not just like sexually, just, you know, being in your presence and being together. So they want to tell you that. That being with you and holding you and all that, it's very important to them. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. 16, just 7, another 7. So definitely they want you to know that um, their love is all around you. Get to know each other. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. 44, which is stability foundation. I feel like this is... Um, I feel like you already know each other. I feel like this is deeper than that. But this is really getting to know each other. Like your needs, your wants, and moving forward. Really seeing, again, moving forward, kind of like in a chariot here almost. So really having that deep, deep communication and knowing each other on even a deeper level and uh, how to move this forward and away from whatever is keeping you apart or disrupting your connection here and forgiveness. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. We have 29, which is another 11. This could be something about past lives. I don't feel like there's anything like between the two of you that needs forgiveness. It could be about just forgiving the energies that are affecting this um, and just moving on. Let's see. Consider your foundation. You are being asked to look at how committed you are to love. We have 50, which is five, which is changed. There's the home again. So they want to know, you know, are you going to be committed to this journey like I am? Now are we going to do this? Now are we going to go full steam ahead and do what we need to do to be together? So they want you to know, they want to know if you're going to be as committed to this as they are. Wow. Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonate. Again, you can switch the energies around if you need to. And like I said, if you like, I don't want nothing to do, then it's probably not your reading. You know, just leave it for somebody else. But hopefully it did resonate. And again, I appreciate all of you wishing you the best. And please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell if it did resonate or you enjoyed it. Any support given is truly, truly appreciated. And I thank you. So wishing you the best, Libra, and I shall see you next time.